basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Oz Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you three really great pass and cut basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you a really good basketball play, actually three really good basketball plays that are motion offenses that will work against man-to-man -man defense, man-to-man -man defenses, I am losing what I want to say, and zone defenses. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these three basketball plays okay so here is the first pass and cut basketball play so this is the start of a triangle offense so this is actually a really good play that you could run um, basically what you're gonna start with is player one passing to player two if player one however passes to player three player five just switches sides but with player one passing to player two we're gonna have player one cut out to this wing if he's open hit him up and player three is going to fill player one spot and player four is going to fill player three spot if there's nothing open player five could go to the post at this point player one is going to use five as a screen and player one is going to go and pop out to that wing that free throw line extended while that's happening the ball is going to be being swung around that three-point line player five is going to go up to that high post and player four is going to pass the player one He's going to pass, and then he's going to cut out to that wing. He could also cut towards the rim if there's an opening in that post. Player 1 would then pass him the ball for the layup. But if there's nothing, he's going to pop back out. And what's going to happen now, fill, fill, and then pass the ball back around using player 5 as a screen, swinging the ball around, going back to the high post. Very simple, very effective, and it works. You can get a lot of layups along the baseline, a lot of layups off the cut, as well as a lot of three-point shots on the opposite side. When the ball gets swung around, because that's going to make the defense with all the swinging back and forth against the zone, with all of the swinging back and forth, that's going to really weaken the defense in the key. So if that's the case, player 5 could set a screen and roll option for the easy layup for player five as well. So that's just one simple quick play that you could run against both man-to-man -man and zone defenses. With all of the swinging back and forth against the zone, there will be a weakening of the defense in the key, in which case screen and rolls on the wings are very, very useful. Now in our second play, our second pass and cut offense, this one works really good against man-to-man -man defenses and can work very effectively against zones as well. So what we're going to have here is player one passing over to player two, player five is going to clear out and this is they're both going to be setting up screens on this side player one is going to cut towards the rim if he's open hit him up he could go in for a layup if not player three is going to then fill that spot player two is going to pass the ball back around to player three player one is either going to use four as a screen four and five as a sandwich screen or he could use player five as a screen pop out this could be a three-point shot now with player three passing to this side players four and five need to go over to the other side of the key as this is now going to be a pass and cut on this side and we're going to continue to swing the ball around if there's no layup swing the ball around pop out possible three-point shot cut and then layup or something like that this is going to be a lot of swinging back and forth which is very useful to weaken this this key defense against the zone but also a lot of screens especially with players four and five who are able to really get wing players open for three-point shots and because of the fact that players four and five are going to the opposite side of the key that is a very high percentage area to get rebounds when your players miss three-point shots usually when you shoot the ball goes off the opposite direction just as a heads up if you didn't know that already now here is my third pass and cut offense. I am definitely not going to be showing uh, really in depth on this one because while well, I've shown this six trillion times on this channel, basically player one passes, cuts if he's not open. 
he needs to clear out to the opposite side, which then brings everyone back around. And if you've never seen it before, player two passes to the wing, cuts, not open, fills. And if the, the player down here passes out, he needs to obviously go to this side, technically speaking, which could happen. However, what we want is not to go out to this side. What we really want is a, pa a passing to player four, cut because he's a center. Even if he's not a center, it doesn't matter. Post up for a second and pop back out. Now, those are three really good pass and cut basketball plays that you can run with your basketball team. If you like these plays, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you've used them or if you're going to use them because, believe me, against zone defenses, those first two are very, very effective. And I personally really, really like them against any zone defense mainly because you're passing the ball around the three-point line and it really stretches out the defense, which is going to leave the key wide open for screen and rolls. Anyways, I do post new videos every single day, so if you like that stuff, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Basketball players or basketball coaches that have players who are looking to get recruited, I can help you get recruited. First of all, you need a highlight tape, and I can help you with that in the link in the description below. Just look for the highlight tape link. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.